Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dago here, and welcome back to Moon Hunters. We have had a heck of a time trying to get this game to run. We actually were in the middle of a game in the last episode and lost it because the game does not apparently want to run for us. So, we are starting over. We are still trying to get the seduction route, and that is the final ending that we have yet to do for Moon Hunters. And after that, we're done! No more! Because this game <laughs> just doesn't want to be played, apparently. It's got serious issues. So, we're here now. We're gonna try to get this game to to function as best we can. Bear with us. Bear with us if there's some slight bugginess. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Take it away, Amnix. I'm out of mana. We need somewhere to find camp because dyslexia words. Before the first moon feast tomorrow, I can't do that. I'm out of mana. I can't read. I'm out of mana. <laughs> This seems to be working moderately better. Mm -hmm. More cacti. cacti! What about moderators? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi! It's important we talk to you. May I be guided by the Queen of Heavens and the Great Mother in consecrating this stone and my travels. Okay, so that would be... Do we need the directions? Um, for the seduction route? No, not really. But we don't want to get... We don't want to run into Murdoch too quickly either. Because we need to be really sexy by the time we encounter him. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. What is this? You hear a strange, sad chanting. It seems to be echoing from deep in the well. Pack of belongings has been left outside it. Ooh. Uh, this sounds like the beginning to the movie. It. <laughs> it's a nice boat you have. <laughs> Take it, Georgie. Bill's gonna kill you if you oh, miss the boat. Hello? Is it safe to come out? Have the owls of death passed back behind the mountains? Well, I'll float down here. Yes? <laughs> the clowns are gone. A man crawls out of the well with a smile. You feel a bit more compassionate. Okay. Here's a balloon. Thank you for the good tidings, friend. Perhaps I'll see you at the first moon feast tomorrow, where there will be no calamities. Yes. Oh, it's your fault! <laughs> oh. But at least we're all compassionate now. Being compassionate is the first step towards being sexy. <laughs> well, it certainly can't hurt. Right, nice. Chop chop. Stop that! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Always with the mouse. He knows what he did. Ah, it's the camp. Hooray! Yeah. Let's go ahead and proceed before anything else happens. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm a pushover. Why am I greedy? <laughs> <laughs> Catmog, Rabbit, and Dagoram. Why does this sound like a fable is about to start? It seems safe here. Let's set up camp and restore our mana. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, 104 known recipes. We've barely scraped the surface. Let's try rice and apricot. Rice pudding! Rice pudding! Oh, I would kill for rice pudding. Weird soup! Weird soup. Plus one spirit. I'm trying to buy clothes, but there's only soup! <laughs> Degrom goes hunting and brings back some tasty meats. Degrom gains five strength and two spirit and thirty-six mana. <laughs> Greetings, wise one. I come seeking your counsel. I have stargazed for days and seen only chaos. According to my calculations, the Queen of Heaven has ridden her chariot to another world. What will convince her to return? Uh. Action! 
Mm-hmm. But I am not so handy with my staff as a weapon. Perhaps my daughters can train me in fighting. Aww. Rafiki! Inga dinga bedini bender. <laughs> Bravery and five spirit. Okay. Let's pack up. We're nearly home now. Mm hmm. The first moon feast. Hooray. Here we are. Stop! No! <laughs> what is wrong with you? There are literally opals on the ground. Amnix! Oh. There, shoo! Now we can talk to the merchant. <laughs> You're almost as powerful as Dewoozy was, eh? Dewoozy was a jerk! <laughs> oh crap, I Dewoozy can't... was a complicated person. I can't do squat. Okay. Perhaps we'll find Don't more say that. Them. Everybody starts off with a small number of squats and progresses to larger number of squats. Then they use weights. The elders compare claims to be descended from the great Demuzi. Perhaps someone more prideful will join the boasting. Hmm. Uh, I'm compassionate, not prideful. <laughs> One of the Keats was born with a mark of the sun on his back. I haven't told anyone. What if we're cursed? What should we do? Should we kill it? We've Technically should we should we just strangle it? Is that what you're telling me to do? We've never technically killed yes. it before. Let it die. Oh gosh. <laughs> no. I don't think you should kill it. No, no. What you're saying is we should kill it. No, please, woman, stop. No, you want me to kill it. You want me to strangle it right here. <laughs> she smiles gleefully and nods saying she will obey and dispose of the bird. From behind the house, you hear a large high-pitched Me! <laughs> terrible! Right now, you're going to a better place! Me! Oh my gosh! I just read it verbatim. Hmm? Camel grunts, pawing the ground. Maybe someone can teach you to speak with animals. Baba Yaga! No! Why does that person look like Satan? <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge their culture. Well, aren't you a cutie? And a soft-hearted one, too, I hear. Just how I like them. Flirt, flirt! Flirt. I see. We'll have lots to talk about after the feast. Look for me. Wow. Am I sexy now? Apparently. Yes, you are. The women discuss food preparations for the festival. Okay. I don't have sexy on my reputation yet. Oh, we'll work on it. Absolutely. I was chosen to be the Seeker's apprentice. I hope I can learn the blood arts well enough to deserve the honor. Okay. Blood arts. Mm. Blood. <laughs> blood issue. The Queen of Heaven spreads her wings over the Dust Folk village. The Dust Folk say the moon is the rightful owner of the cosmos and all its creatures. They say she echoes in our laws of our in the laws of our conscience and through our mana. <laughs> Full moons are terrible for hunting. It's the goddess's way of making us enjoy the feast. <coughs> Slacker. <laughs> hmm? What? <laughs> I have some delicious leafy shoots and herbs to sell, but you'll need at least 50 opals to buy them from me. 
I have no distinct accent. <laughs> I'm not gonna make any comment. I am certain the internet will take care of that for us. <laughs> I started out and then it like became Jamaican. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just I'm just not going to comment at all. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? It's time to start yes. setting up for the first moon feast. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. The village has been looking forward to this. I don't know why we're talking to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> the village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. But she didn't rise. The singing stopped. Panic spread across the village. Panic! Everyone be calm. This must be part of the goddess's plan. Catpog, you've been our protector in years past. What do you plan to do to bring back the moon? I feel like that's a really heavy burden. Your own dang fault, cat dog. Um, like, I was just doing my own thing. Grow a pair, cat dog. <laughs> I have a pair, but I'm not showing them to you because you look like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. A priestess may know what happened to your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It was a spider. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe even a song that could help bring the moon back. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I am ashamed. Oh, no. Be ashamed, Lindsay. Help this fear hisses through the villagers' whisperings. Each tries to comfort the other. The Queen of Heaven has abandoned us. But why? What have we done? Because you're hitting on people that are not your husband. <laughs> She's a mother of Maybe three. Maybe It doesn't say anything about her husband. Oh, that's fair. Then carry on. Ooh, a spirit. Wait, can I talk to the well? The spirit speak, speaks in a tongue that sounds like the wind over sand. Yeah, talk to the well. Talking to the well. Hey, well, what you doing? Oh, I'm fine. You know, yeah. nobody's fallen in me lately. <laughs> that's good to hear. How goes the whole water thing? I'm not really into the water anymore. I was thinking I was going to become like a liquor well. Oh, well I'm sure you'll be really popular. Thanks. Oh, what? You right. cut off my dialogue. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Some apricot here. An old shrine. old shrine. Or do we want to go to the oasis? That's the name of the bar I was just at. <laughs> really? No. The abandoned barons of Maranjab. Sounds like a blast. I think we should go to the old shrine. Yeah, it's got a merchant too. Crystal switchback scarp. I think those names are randomly generated. They must be given some of them. I don't know what a scarp is. Yeah, like the other day I saw. I feel like they generate city names randomly too. Because the other day I saw the city called like. Really, a or something? It's weird. Like, okay. the signs were there. It just kind of pointed towards the ocean. Mm. Opals. No. Oh. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen that one before. Um I we have, but it's been a while. It's usually a boss yeah. for one of those little battle air arenas. Alas, that some of our enemies can have ranged attacks too. Alas, you're 
wax. <laughs> Ear wax. Ear wax. Ooh, what's that? You see a strange, a strange forged metal coin, half covered by earth, and hear a faint whisper. Both sides of the coin feature the same carved face. It looks ancient and valuable. Beneath the racket of your thoughts, the whispering intensifies. Keep me. Nothing bad will happen. Kill your friend. Precious thing. An ethereal image murmurs urgently, but her words are lost in the veils of the afterworld. Eventually, she fades again. Oh. You pocket the coin and take note to sell it to a merchant later. You will eventually yeah, be. <laughs> Whoa. You will eventually be unable to because you realize it is precious to you. Far too precious to sell. I feel like there's gotta be a way to talk to spirits in this game. Mm -hmm. I'm almost wondering now, since we, we've encountered a lot of new stuff, and I'm wondering if the reason the game was loading so poorly is because it was actually updating. Maybe. That would be exciting. <laughs> well, we can always keep our ears open on the internet and see if anything new gets updated or listed. Yeah, true. Goodness. What happened, what happened here? here? Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> Golly, this place is very grim. Mm. Oh! My! The stone's shape honors the pale dancer. You pray to the pale dancer for protection and good fortune. Your spirits rise. Gain five faith. Nice. Hmm. We're not finding a whole lot that we can flirt with out here. I mean, to be perfect. I flirted honest. with the pale dancer. Oh, did you? <laughs> when you were praying, did you uh, wink? I did, definitely. I winked hard. Hey, there's an area over here. Oh, is there? Oh, hey, look at yeah. that. Good oh. spot. Good eyes. Oh. oh, goodness. Oh. oh, this looks promising. Let's go in there with reckless abandon. The cave smells of blood and death. Perhaps someone more brave would enter. Is anyone brave? Um, Patient I've been told that I am among the bravest lions by my uncle. <laughs> that sounds like it has a story attached. My uncle says I'm one of the bravest lions. That, that only the bravest lions go into this cave. Uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna work for you, Aminix. Mm. Puff, puff, puff. Ooh! It's the wooshy wooshy thingy. <laughs> yeah, let's call it that. The wooshy wooshy thingy. I'm glad that you guys have approved my terminology. Always. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happened on a large open plains. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that looks like a boss fight right there. Well, let's do it. Yep. <laughs> Gosh, I don't recognize some of these monsters. It's not been that long. 
Oh, no, yeah, these are definitely new. Maybe? Or maybe they're just different off colors that we have run into before. Lovely. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Lovely opals. This had better not be the way to camp, because there's a whole bunch of stuff, I think, down <laughs> below that we haven't looked at, and, uh... Still have to find the oasis and the merchant. I don't think the oasis is in this one, it's the merchant and oh, the, wait. uh... Oh, Old shrine. shrine, yeah. My bad. Oh, yep, look, it's camp. Hmm. All right, time to go back down. <laughs> oh, I need some help. What? Eh? This man was clawed savagely by a lion, it seems. He does not move. On his chest, he clutches a letter. It reads, To my sisters of Nysa, dance until you, until you join me. Love, Hyas. Oh, wow. <coughs> you find 20 opals in his hunting sack. You also gain letter from Hyas. That sucks. You will find his sisters. Maybe we'll be able to deliver it. we didn't get some horrible grave digging trait for that. <laughs> oh. Man, we haven't gotten any hearts. Ah, the merchant! Hooray! Smash her pots! Is that a heart? Uh, yes. Yay! All right. Hooray! <laughs> Lord Amnix, will you do the honors? Climb and climb till you reach the heights of 24601. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that showed up in another episode. Yes. Ooh, lion form. Excellent, excellent. If I get five more opals. Just five more opals. Oh, hi, five more opals. Very long winding map. It is. Alex, I realize this is the subduction route, uh, route but your uh, heavy breathing is a little out of character, don't you think? I don't know, it's perfectly in character. <sighs> mm hmm. Five more opals? Almost there. Almost to being able to finish camp. Oh, that's it. What was the whole old shrine business? Um, actually that may have been the, um, the bloody thing we couldn't go in. Maybe. Shall we head to- do you want to look at the merchant one more time before we head to camp? Indeed. There, I, this is for you, Amnix. Amnix. And... 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. I had my mic muted, and I did it. <laughs> climb and climb until you reach the heights of two, four, six, oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, every time. Nuts. Absolutely. All right. Let's quickly get to camp. We have people to seduce. Indeed. Quickly get to camp before the game bugs out. Right. I killed 34 things and I'm still a pushover? You gotta be kidding me. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, we have alas reached the end of this episode, so we will have to see you all in the next one. Do join us for more Moon Hunters in the future. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. If you think that we've actually missed an ending, let us know. We will try to revisit it, but we're pretty sure that this is the last one we need to do. So, thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.